Hi, brothers and sisters. God bless you guys. Praise the Lord. I um, hope you're having a blessed day. I, um, well, I don't know where to start, but my husband, I'm, I'm pregnant, so I'm scatterbrained. <laughs> my husband came home from work today, and he was like, uh, he works for a plant that su does supplies, supplying to the military. And um, I'm not even supposed to tell anybody that, but, and supplies to schools and stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not supposed to say that, but. Um, they were telling people at work that as of next week, they are going to shut the plant down for this quarantine that is happening. They had like this big meeting and I don't even know where to start you guys. But he's going to be out of work if either from 30, between 30 to 60 days. And he, we're so stressed out over it. So just pray for us. And then the baby's coming in three weeks. I'm going to be induced. I don't even know how that's going to work if, if we're in a county quarantine. Because the city and the county that I live in, the one next to me, they're putting out warnings um, and then this with what my husband came home and told me that they're expecting a county or city quarantine. They're talking about that military. I have, there's a military base. I live next to just three streets away and it has train tracks that go through the side of it. It's really weird, but it is an active military base. And they actually bring refugees there from the border. So that's tripping me out. And uh, I was out in town today with my daughter and it was crazy. Uh, because these notices that the county and the city is putting out. I tried to find water. I tried to find wipes. I tried to find uh, baby stuff. I mean, I was able to get some things here and there. Because I had a couple peop people help me out already. Um, it's just nuts over here. There's no parking spaces. I'm like, <laughs> um, they they take it, they go from the wipes, the Clorox wipes to the baby wipes. They're taking the baby's wipes now, or maybe it's the mother's. I don't know, but um. We went around all over town. We spent hours trying to find stuff. And people are just going nuts. Like someone almost hit us. Um, it's crazy. There's no al like rubbing alcohols left. There's no, there isn't anything left. And so I'm just going to have to like shop online or something because plus I don't, we don't want to be out there around everybody. And in the past two days, the count of coronavirus went from like six people in one county, eight people in another to 26 and like 38, I believe in my county just within, I think it was yesterday or the day before. And now John's going to be out of work. I just, I don't know what to do. And there's still, st I, I'm going to have to shop online or something. I don't know. But if you guys could just help our family, I don't know what we're going to do if he's out of work that long. I am just trusting in God. <laughs> I'm just walking in faith. You know, um, and just seeing that testimony of uh, Lashara's dream that she had, and then that man being interviewed, he's in quarantine with the coronavirus, and he said, no weapon formed against me will prosper. And I'm standing on that. And I just the thought of going to a, the hospital, this county hospital over here, to have the baby, it's, it's going to take all the faith I have and just trust in Jesus that, Yes, the hospitals are, are gross. I hate going into hospitals. 
It's like, if you're not sick when you go in there, you might be sick when you come out. <laughs> now, and I have this up. I'm getting emails from all these different places talking, I'm sure you guys have too, talking about health and wellness of the communities and the COVID-19 and uh, all these companies are trying to reassure people and, uh, but the point of this video, you guys, is if you could just help us get through this time in our lives, um, with him being suspended from work, the whole company shutting, and it's not just his, it's other companies that are shutting down. They're telling people not to go to church. They're telling people not to go to functions. Um, there's like rodeos and fairs. They're, they're canceling all that. Um, they're canceling flights like his, uh, kids were supposed to come. They live in Nevada. Um, they were supposed to come here into California and they're canceled all the flights. Um, all just within a few days, all, all this is just happening within a few days. And, you know, I'm not like really scared, scared about it. But what makes me anxious is him not being able to go to work. And so if you guys could please help us, it would be such a blessing I would just be so grateful and I'm just going to leave my PayPal link in the bottom so I can go out and get the stuff that I need and, and for the baby and for like more, if we could find water or whatever we can find. And I love you guys and God bless you. And I'm praying for you guys too. Amen.